whatever you call it, it's experimental. It's not been approved as a vaccine. Okay. One of the most commonly known complications of vaccines is something called antibody-dependent enhancement. It's also sometimes called immune enhancement, and it's sometimes called pathogenic priming. What this is, is instead of really causing immunity, it causes a person to overreact in a negative way if they should ultimately be exposed to the virus. The biggest problem with antibody-dependent enhancement, we see this with prior coronavirus vaccines. So when they were doing the studies with SARS-CoV-1 vaccine back in 2005, they came up with a vaccine and they gave it to the ferrets and it was two dosed like the ones today and the ferrets did fine after the first dose, they did fine after the second dose. Later they exposed them to the coronavirus SARS-CoV-1 in the wild and the ferrets died. That's why SARS-CoV-1 vaccine never came to market. There's been a tremendous failure of previous coronavirus vaccines. This is not well known, but there are multiple coronavirus viruses out there. For example, in 2002, there was an epidemic, a much smaller one, but an epidemic of SARS-CoV-1. What we're in right now is SARS-CoV-2. This coronavirus is 78% identical to SARS-CoV-1. So prior coronavirus um, vaccine attempts have been made. They have failed. They can't do it safely in human beings. There is no independently published animal studies. One of the companies d says they do have animal studies, but they haven't published any data on it. There's been a complete rush to put this to market, and you simply cannot do this safely without published data on animal studies, because animals often will die at the end. One of the problems that we doctors are concerned about, about this antibody-dependent enhancement potential, which we, again, I'm not saying it exists or it doesn't exist, I'm saying it hasn't been answered, is if you're going to run around and give this vaccine to a whole bunch of healthy people, you have to be really, really sure. Taking a vaccine is very different than taking a drug for a disease. If you have a disease, you're certainly willing to take on more risk, right, to get rid of the disease. But vaccines are typically given to healthy people. Now, what's going to happen if you give this vaccine to 100 million people that are otherwise healthy, and they do have this antibody-dependent enhancement reaction because we haven't ruled it out, they do get exposed to the virus in the wild, and 30% of them drop. And what if, for example, you've given that vaccine to all of your healthcare workers, and you've given that vaccine to all of your military and all of your police officers? This particular virus has very low lethality. Should you give it to healthy people, not knowing the answer to that question is far too risky, in my opinion, from a national security perspective.